Hi everyone, this is Firan and welcome to Study Windows. And today we are going to discuss part 2 physical change, the detail of physical change along with so many examples. Physical change. Physical change is a change of physical properties of substance. What is physical properties? Can you able to remember? Oh, no worries. Physical properties are properties that can be observed or measured, like shape, size, state, color, volume, mass, length, density. These all are physical properties. Physical properties do not change the chemical structure or identity of the substance. Physical change. So we learn about the physical properties. Now what is physical change? Undergoes a change in physical properties. We have already learned that shape, size, state, color, volume, mass, length, density, like this. A physical change is generally reversible, but it may be irreversible also. Reversible means it can get its original state or original substance. In such a change, no new substance is formed and no change in chemical structure of the substance. Let us take some examples for better understanding. So we will try to understand and explain the exact phenomena. We have already got the basic idea. However, we will discuss once again in details with lots of examples like melting an ice cubes, boiling water, cutting a lemon, breaking a glass, adding sugar in water, shredding a paper. These all are the examples of physical change. Now explanation. Let's start. Melting an ice cube. Look at this picture. Ice cubes means H2 and we'll take an empty glass. We will keep all the ice cubes into the empty glass and we'll wait for some times. Due to the heat, this ice cube will be changed into water and water means it is H2O. So ice cube changed into water in presence of heat and also we know that if we freeze the water it will be changed into ice cube. So we can change ice cube into water or water into ice cube. So hence we learn that shape and size is changed. See the shape of ice cube and water both are different and size is also different. State is changed means solid to liquid or liquid to solid. Ice is solid and water is liquid. So state is changed from solid to liquid or liquid to solid. No new substance is formed. Ice cube is H2O and water is also H2O. So no new substance is formed. No change in chemical structure. Chemical formula of ice cube is H2O and water is also H2O. So there is no chemical change and it is reversible. We can change ice cube to water and we can get back to ice cube as well. So it is reversible. Hence, melting an ice cube is a physical change. Another example, boiling water. Look at this example. This is an empty container and we are putting water into the container and due to the heat after a certain time 
water vapor will come from the water and it will increase gradually so this water changed into water vapor in presence of heat and if we collect the water vapor and cool it we will get water back and water is liquid and vapor is gas so anytime we can change from liquid to gas or gas to liquid so state is changed no new substance is formed because water is H2O and vapor is also H2O so no new substance is formed there is no change in chemical structure water is H2O and vapor is also H2O and it is reversible we can get vapor from water or water from vapor so it is reversible hence boiling water is a physical change next example cutting a lemon look at this example this is a whole lemon and we'll take a knife and we will cut into two pieces these are different size is different and shape is also different if you compare the whole lemon with one piece of lemon however both the things are lemon so shape and size is changed here no new substance is formed because both are lemon this whole lemon is also lemon and piece of lemon it is also lemon there is no different taste no change in chemical structures so there is no change in chemical structure because both are lemon hence cutting a lemon is a physical change next example breaking a glass look at this example a glass is falling down and broken so this is the glass before broken and this is the broken glass so we can break the glass at any time but we cannot make the proper glass from the broken shape and size is changed because this and this piece of glass is in the broken glass is totally different so shape and size is changed no new substance is formed because broken glass is also a glass so there is no new substance is formed no change in chemical structure and it is not reversible because we cannot get back its original state hence breaking a glass is a physical change next example adding sugar in water look at this example sugar we can write c x h y and o z later on we will understand how to write sugar and this is empty glass we will fill the water in the glass we will take one spoon sugar and we will mix with the water so sugar and water will be mixed up so this solution is having water and sugar now if we heat this solution the water will be vaporized and will get the sugar back so we can say water and sugar didn't make any new substance it was just simply a mixture from this example we can understand that shape and size is changed here sugar shape and size is changed no new substance is formed because both h2o and cx hy oz both the things will be present in the solution but we cannot see no change in chemical structure because the sugar and water will not be reacted and it is reversible we can get the sugar back at any time by heating it hence adding sugar in water is a physical change next example shredding a paper look at this example it's a shredding machine this is the paper and this is the shredded paper we can 
make from paper to shredded paper at any time by using some weapon. But we cannot make from shredding paper to this original paper. Safe and size is changed because if you see the paper, original paper and shredded paper, the shape and size is changed. No new substance is produced because this is all shredded paper is also a paper. No change in chemical structure because this material is same and it is not reversible because we cannot get back from the shredded paper to the original paper. Hence, shredding a paper is a physical change. Other examples Crushing a can. Look at this example. There is no new substance, no change in chemical properties, size and shape is changed here. Mixing salt and water. No new substance is produced here. We can separate this salt and water anytime. We need to heat the solution, water will be vaporized and we can get the salt back. So it's a simple mixture. And mixing marbles. See we can mix the marbles with different colors and anytime we can take out different colors. We can separate it. So this is a physical change. Do you know burning a paper is what kind of change? Check out our next video for details. And thank you so much and stay tuned.